you're going to hear this term today and in society in general, and that is social construct, particularly as it relates to gender. And it's a good term to know because it'll really help you get your head around the idea um, of gender beyond the binary. But what does it actually mean? So my friends at Merriam-Webster define a social construct as an idea that has been created and accepted by the people in society. So it's something that you and I have agreed to. It is a concept or idea that we as a society have decided is the way it is. And oftentimes we don't challenge these things because they just are. Now let's look at an example of a social construct. What does this device do? What is an indicator of? Hopefully, most of you have said time. It's a clock. It's an indicator of time. Now, this presentation is not about the history of time, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. However, the advent of the 24-hour clock goes back to 130 BC, but hours of fixed length didn't become commonplace until the invention of the mechanical clock during the 14th century. Nearly every single person on the planet operates on a 24-hour day. I say nearly every because there are um, some communities in places like the Amazon that uh, have no contact with the outside world, so we don't know what they're actually doing. But nearly every person on the planet uses the 24-hour day to measure time. But it isn't preordained. Someone invented it and we accept it as fact. Time as we know it is a social construct. We as a society have an agreement that this is how we function and no one questions it, but it can change. Canada has six time zones, but we have parts of provinces and territories that don't follow daylight savings. When we count those, we actually end up with eight time zones. And there has been much discussion by provincial and territorial governments about moving away from daylight savings time. My point, just in case you think I may have missed the plot, is that time is a social construct and that when we engage in discussions about changing that construct, some people are for it and some are against it, but no one is suggesting that we should scrap time altogether. And the same is the case about gender. No one is suggesting that we should abandon the concepts of man or woman or cisgenderism. Keep in mind that trans people aren't new. There are references to people of different genders other than man or woman that go back before 1700 BC in Mesopotamian, Egyptian, Indian, Arabian, Incan, and Mediterranean cultures. And of course, the indigenous peoples of the Americas. In some cultures, trans people were revered as healers and diviners. It wasn't until the 18th and 19th century, thanks to oppressive culture shifts uh, from things like colonization, that trans people started to be viewed as deviants. But we're in a period of a paradigm shift where our understanding and beliefs about gender as a society is changing. If we can get behind a change in the use of daylight savings time, why can't we get behind a shift in our understanding of gender? 